In this video I'm going to show you how to clean up countertop seams with caulk. These countertops are 27 years old and the seams are looking pretty bad. I was getting ready to sell the house and I wanted everything to look fresh and clean. One way to do that is get rid of the dark lines on the countertop seams. When looking for caulk, try and find a color that comes close to the color of your countertops. For this countertop I'm using a gloss biscuit from DAP. First thing I'm going to do is clean out the seam with a 5-in-1 tool. You want to get as much dirt and grease out as possible. Cleaning the seam out also gives a deeper groove for the caulk. I turn the 5-in-1 tool sideways to knock the edges of the countertop seam down. Be careful doing this. If you slip with the 5-in-1 tool, you can end up putting a really deep scratch in your countertop. After I'm done prepping the seam, I clean it with rubbing alcohol. Now I'll take painter's tape and tape both sides of the seam. When you're done taping, all you should see is the gap of the seam. seams I wouldn't um, tape this off this has got a wider seam and I don't want you only really have to use tape on the wider seams if you just wipe caulk over the wider seams it, when you wipe it off it'll take too much of the caulk out if the seams are small then you won't have to use the tape this is what it should look like when it's taped off I probably could have gotten the right side tape a little bit closer to the seam. There's a little bit uh, too much countertop showing the color of the countertop. That would be the max. If it got any wider than that, I would lift the tape up and retape it. When picking out a caulk, use kitchen and bath caulk. They tend not to yellow. My countertop has a little bit of an almond color to it, so I chose a biscuit, and that, when it dries, is pretty close to the color of my top. Apply a decent amount of caulk to the entire seam. Then you can use your finger or a putty knife to push the caulk into the seam. Now I'm going to use my 5-in-1 tool to level the caulk out along the seam. Once I'm happy with the seam, then I can peel the tape off. Let the caulk set up 5 or 10 minutes before wiping. Now I lightly wipe the seam with a damp rag. You want to wipe the seam lightly, otherwise you'll wipe all the caulk out. I did make a mistake here. I should have wiped against the seam instead of with the seam. If you're not happy with the way it looks, let it dry before doing another application. Give it about a half an hour. I'm not very happy with this area right here, so I'm going to redo that spot. The reason that area came out like that is because I wiped with the seam instead of across the seam. Even though I'm not happy with that one spot, you can see the difference already. Now that the caulk has had time to dry, you can do little touch-up spots without putting the tape down. When cleaning the seam, wipe side to side. That will prevent you from removing too much caulk. Here I'm filling the seam going up the splash.
This seam on the other side of the kitchen has a lot of junk caked up in it too. So I'm going to use a utility knife to clean it up. Next, I'm cleaning with alcohol. I'm going to do this seam without tape. It's not as wide as the other one, so I think it's going to come out all right. If it doesn't, then I'll tape it off and do it again. You can already see the difference from one application of caulk. Here's the before and after. I think the countertop looks much cleaner and doesn't look quite as old. I have one more seam to take care of. I'll just show you the before and after. I just wanted you to see how a $4 tube of caulk can change the appearance of your countertops. If you try using this method, please let me know how it came out and leave a comment in the comment section. Something like this isn't going to last forever, but it's easy enough to do it again when it's needed. I hope this video helped. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Click the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, visit me on Facebook. Until next time, thank you for watching.